Hello and welcome to this BR Admin Professional 4 video. In this video, I'll explain how to configure auto configuration. Many tasks can be automated on a schedule or triggered by specific events. These options are extremely useful for anyone managing a print fleet. In this video, we'll cover a task called auto configuration. Before we get started on that, I want to give you an overview of the automated tasks that VR Admin offers. The automated tasks are as follows. Device Log Device Log generates a log which includes information such as page count, device status and supply information. It sends the device log via email or saves the log file in a specific destination folder according to the schedule you set. Device Notification monitors a target device by periodically retrieving its status. If there are any errors or changes in status, VR Admin Professional 4 sends error and change notifications via email. Device Notification sends one email per status change. Device List This task retrieves device information in the device list, sends the device list via email, or saves it to a file in a specific destination folder according to the schedule. Device Master Settings This task monitors a target device periodically and recovers the device's original settings if they are accidentally changed. Another feature in Device Master Settings allows you to automate device firmware checks and updates. Auto Configuration Use this task to find devices that meet set criteria and automatically configure them. Auto configuration can be used to build more complex configuration workflows. Before we set up an auto configuration task, let's break down what that description means. Use this task to find devices that meet set criteria and automatically configure them. Your print fleet may have more than one type of brother device that you want to target with different settings. For example, if you are installing DCPs and MFCs and you only want to target MFCs, then you can target machines where the model name starts with MFC. Now let's look at the last part of the description of auto configuration. Auto configuration can be used to build more complex configuration workflows. You can build an automation workflow, which is a series of tasks. For example, I could set a workflow when BR Admin discovers a new device. It could change the factory set password, then update the firmware, then populate the address book on MFC devices from a settings file. Remember a settings file is created by doing a backup in the instant tasks menu. BR Admin opens in the dashboard view. Select the Tasks tab. The Tasks window will appear. The menu is on the left hand side here. Select Auto Configuration if it is not already selected. Select New Auto Configuration Task. The new Auto Configuration Task window will appear. We'll run through each of the sections displayed. This section shows the task name. When you create a new auto configuration task, it will auto populate by default. I recommend changing this name so it's relevant to the task that you create. I'm going to build a workflow that does the following to MFC devices. Change the factory set password, update the firmware, and send a settings file that I created using the backup settings option. This file contains a populated address book. I'll call this MFC Devices, Password Change, Update Firmware, Populate Address Book. This section shows the target device or devices. As you can see, there are currently no devices being targeted. Selecting this icon 
will give you a drop down list for you to add devices that you want to target with the task. You can target devices based on the following Smart Filter, Model Name, Node Name, IP Address, Serial Number, or MAC Address. With the exception of Smart Filters, each of the options can include a wildcard. As I want to target MFC devices, I'll choose Model Name. The Model Name window will appear. Then I'll enter MFC plus the asterisk symbol, which is the wildcard. This means that any device where the model name starts with MFC will be targeted by this auto configuration task. There's information about using wildcards here. If you already have a list of specific models you want to target, you can also import a list using the import function. CSV or text formats are supported using this method. The import option is available in each of the methods except smart filters. Select OK. This task will now target any device that has a model name beginning with MFC. Let's take a look at the trigger options. The first option is at the time of discovery. This means that when VR admin first discovers new devices, it will run the automation. If you selected at the time of discovery and you have not already configured device discovery settings, you will receive this warning message. This message advises that device discovery is not configured to run on a schedule. This means that the process will not run unless you manually start device discovery. This icon in the devices tab starts device discovery. If you would like to set up automatic device discovery, select this option. This will open the application settings menu in the device discovery section. Choose your discovery method options. Select the discovery schedule tab. The discovery schedule options will appear. BR admin will discover devices when the application starts if this tick box is enabled. However, you might want to set a discovery schedule, especially if the PC that runs BR admin is not often restarted. To set up a schedule, click the plus symbol. The schedule settings window will appear. Select from the schedule options. I'm going to set BR admin so that it discovers devices automatically every hour. Newly detected devices will then trigger the automation flow because we chose the trigger of at the time of discovery. Select OK. Now as well as discovering the devices when the application starts, we have a schedule set to each hour. You can add more schedules by clicking the plus icon. You can edit or delete a schedule by selecting it, and then the edit and delete icons will become active. We don't want to add or delete any more schedules, so select OK. The warning message has disappeared, and you can now see the schedule discovery shows every one hour. Another option would be to update all the devices on a particular date and time. To do this, select Time Specification from the Trigger Options. The Starting Date and Time field become active. Set the date and time you want BR Admin to discover new devices. You may wish to wait until a quiet time to run the automation. You can see in this example, I've set the start, time and date to January the 1st at midnight. Next, we'll select the options we want to apply in our configuration. Select Set Automation Flow. The Automation Flow window appears. On the left, we can select from the menu options for automation. As I want to change the default passwords, I'm going to choose this option. And I want to change the factory default password, so I'll select this option. I'll enter the new password and confirm it in these two sections. 
Next, I want to update the firmware as part of the auto configuration flow. So I'll select update firmware from the menu here. And then select this box. I now get a choice to update to the latest version or to send a specific firmware file. I'll select update to the latest version. Finally, I want to send a settings file to populate the address book. So I'll select send files and then enable the option here. Now I'll browse to the settings file. The file password window will appear. I'll enter the admin password of the device I created the settings file from and select OK. Then select OK again. The automation flow now shows on the right hand side. We can edit the automation flow here. The automation flow is ready to be created. Select create. And you can see the new auto configuration task is now active here. Select the task. And some extra options appear on the right hand side of the screen. A summary of the selected task is shown here. We can see the name of the task, its status, which is active or inactive, the number of devices, the trigger, and the tasks in the flow. This section has the following options. A shortcut to task settings, an option to deactivate the task, an option to delete the task, and the final option, which is to run the task now. If you check the dashboard, you can see the auto configuration summary. That completes this video on auto configuration. Thank you.